Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to today's vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, right now I'm inside uh, my car. Um, as you can say, it tell, I'm not in auto right now. I'm in, uh, where am I? Uh, hey everybody, welcome to, to uh, welcome to today's vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm here, as you can tell, I'm not in Ottawa. I'm in uh, Cornwall right now, Cornwall, Ontario. Uh, that is uh, east of uh, Ottawa. So I'm going to check a, a local car meet here, and we're going to see some uh, vehicles and people I never seen before. Well, you never know. We might see one. So thank you for uh, tuning in, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and turn on the notifications and we're going to see some uh, cars tonight and apparently this is cars and coffee um, almost nighttime anyways uh, okay anyways but on today's vlog Alright everyone, we're here. Well, this is the first time uh, being here in Cornwall. So, the vibe is pretty cool. It's a parking lot, parking lot garage, but we're going to the top floor. So, we're going to check out some cars here. And it's actually, I like, I like this community right now. They're welcoming and they already said, uh, uh, hi to me because I'm holding a camera. But okay, we're going to check out some cars here. Some dope, uh, never seen before. We'll see how it goes. And all right. So I came across with this Corolla here. That's a lot. That's with my uh, me and my dad, brothers, family history right here. It's even a uh, lip back also. Lip back <laughs> it's all gate. It is so funny though too. It's an automatic. Um, all right, you're showing us around. Uh, that's it. And you love the little uh, this thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it tilts both ways. Oh, man. And the dash is perfect condition. Like, there's no cracks on it. That's super mint. What, what year is this one? 81. 81. Dad had an 80. Oh, yeah. And. You look in the truck. <laughs> Look at that. Super clean. No rust on this. 
Like, Dad, you're watching. I know you're watching this. <laughs> Still original motor in it? Oh, look at that. That's great. This is like so 80s. <laughs> That's clean. This just this is these are just like uh, undercoat rust protection. Yeah, uh, if this, 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 this doesn't have it, it'll be like rotted. <laughs> Everyone, that is clean. Electric fan. Oh, it was electric. <laughs> Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you for showing me. everyone so I got uh, Q here and his uh, looks like a Camaro so uh, I'll let him talk about it it's a 2017 2SS Camaro at the 6.2 liter on it uh, just a cold air intake more of axle back attack uh, I did the uh, rims on it last summer Asantis. it's uh, nine and a half in the front 11 in the back it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, boots to the ground, so to, so to speak. Okay. And uh, went to a couple of car shows with some buddies. My car, I used to have black racing stripes on it, just yeah. on my hat. Yeah. But there was three other Camaros, just like my car, yeah. with black racing stripes. So I said, I got to do something to think outside the box. Yeah. I originally saw a uh, a police interceptor in the states that I wanted to do up, and this is kind of the concept. I talked to a couple of police officer buddies of mine and they said, uh, probably not a good idea, they may pull you over. And I said, okay. So I, I said, what can I do? I was gonna go with yellow stripes. Yeah. And uh, then I went to a guy that was doing my striping and he said, I got something for you. And this is that yellow green that they use on the fire trucks. Okay. So I said, I got an idea. I said, give me a couple of weeks. Went online, grabbed a bunch of pictures and uh, told him what I wanted. Basically, we decided to make it an Autobot. Awesome. So we uh, put the Autobot, it's a two-piece on the hood. That's actually red vinyl on top of the yellow. Okay. Uh, I color matched the, the red with the, the color of the car. Yeah. The badge on the door is a two-piece badge as well. And it's, uh, I, want, I wanted to make sure that nobody knows I'm not a firefighter. Yeah. I never was, I won't be. Yeah. I respect the hell out of them, but um, this is actually not a fire badge. If you look at the Autobot head right here, we cut it off right here, and that's the four badges. That's the top of the Autobot head with the Autobot logo in the middle. Perfect. So then I went in the European look, and I stole the idea of uh, putting the, the color on it. And I put the three red stripes, so whenever the Autobot transforms, that's the actual rank on its sleeve. Yeah. And then, of course, I went to the... Uh, all done up like a fire truck as well and uh, I got a, a gentleman that's gonna take a look at my car and see what we can do we're gonna do <laughs> full full-on lights like an actual fire truck with an actual push that's bar. good that's good the push bar on the front yeah. and uh, yeah like I said uh, take your time that's the number one thing I can think yep. of and do it's your car do it make it yours perfect and uh, the other thing, anybody wants an expensive car like this or some of the other cars you see around, yeah. keep a clean driving record. That's the only way you're going to get the insurance. Yeah, so, exactly. That's, that's a little bit of uh, yeah. age and experience. Yeah. 
and uh, 10 years of being a driving instructor. Comes yep. in and helps oh, you're a driving instructor. Yeah, I'm not anymore. <laughs> I'm out of that. I'm <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. No problem. Thank you. guys I'm Cameron at Forrester Film welcome to Cars and Coffee Cornwall the Cornwall Square parking garage turnout is incredible check it out hey everyone so I got Mark here and he has his car I'll just let him talk about it because I you rarely see these cars out anyway so here's Mark <laughs> so it is a 1987 uh, Mercure XR4 Ti Mercure Flanker uh, it's basically a European Ford CO with a Ford Lima 2.3 turbo yeah. right. rear wheel drive. Uh, I bought it about four years ago. The previous owner swapped a T1 transmission to it, which is a little beefier. Other than that, uh, it's mostly stock. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a hoot to drive. It's getting built as a bucket. Uh, or rally style at least because uh, I'm getting too old to do rally. Um, it's recently had the whole front suspension out, polyurethane bushings through, bill steams, uh, new 200 pound inch power coil springs. Okay. Um, it's probably only making about 140 horse. But back then that was a lot. There was a lot. Uh, and back then. And it's not intercooled. Yes. Because it wasn't allowed to be. Because yes. it wasn't allowed to be faster than the turbo yes. uh, Mustang and the turbo Thunderbird, yes. Yes. which had the same engine. So. Yeah. Because that's cool their wing. that's their name that's name right. brand, right? Yeah. So. That's right. Yeah. And it was supposed to compete with BMW at the time. Yeah. And uh, it didn't. They only sold about forty-two thousand of them. And they're they're fairly rare on the ground now. So. And it's one of the forty-two thousand. <laughs> and it's uh, it's fun. Paints original. It's a, yeah, I'm becoming in rough shape. Man. But uh, yeah, she's all right. I like her. Perfect. Perfect. So where should they follow you on? Uh... Uh, the Drunken Wrench on Instagram and Facebook, and uh, we have a, a website blog up as well. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So I'll put it down below. Thanks, kid. Okay. Thank you. All right, man. Hey everyone. So I got Nick here. What's going on? And Nick was the what is it, the organizer yeah, of this? Yeah, founder of Cars founder? Car 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 Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, talk about your car. So, I drive a 2022 uh, Volkswagen Golf R. Well, I can see about your car. Modified slightly, because can't drive anything stock. I'm not sure if you put on a car meet like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm really happy you guys came out. Is it Bean QA? Yeah, no, it, it is. It's it Qua. Yeah. Bean QA. Okay, Bean QA. <laughs> yeah. uh, I said, funny enough, I saw you on our page, like, chatting about it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I went like to watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Yeah. Like, you've been to, like, some CSEA, CSEA yeah. races. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is great. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the whole idea is just being cars and coffee cornal, getting people out with different cars so everyone else can see what everyone else has to drive. Perfect. can see the whole scene. This is a perfect revenue too. This is a nice uh, parking lot. Yeah, parking. it was a good idea. Well, we, we rented it for the night so we could actually have a good spot. Yeah. It would be in town, centralized, so everyone would actually want to come out to it. And like I said, we can't be happier with the turnout that we got. It's really been a great night for what we've got out of this. Perfect. So, yeah, man. All right. So, um, do you have a uh, social media? And all we do. Um, uh, my social media, my own Instagram is uh, the Cornell Foodie. Okay. But uh, Cars and Coffee Cornwall is our, is our own page, and then uh, obviously we have uh, the Cars and Coffee Facebook page. Okay, perfect. I'll put that down below if you guys want to check it out. Thanks, man. So, thank you. Absolute thank pleasure. You. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All right, folks. So, uh, a lot of people are pulling out right now. So, I'm going to uh, end today's vlog for today. Um, yeah, this is uh, this was fun in Cornwall, Ontario. 
met a couple new people here so if you guys are up and about in Cornwall or if you guys want me to come back put a, send me an email the link is down below and if you guys were here uh, put a comment down below and I would like to meet you down uh, in the future so until then um, I'm gonna wrap up the video before I uh, because, like, I'm gonna get pulled over I don't want to get pulled over anyways stay fly forever living young peace <laughs>